Properly formatting a discussion board post inside of Blackboard can be extremely frustrating if you don't know the tips I'm going to cover in this video. I always recommend that you create your work inside of Word first or some other word processor on your computer because sometimes things happen when you're working online and you can lose your work. Then I want you to select everything. The easiest way to do that is with shortcut keys. So you can press Control A or Command if you're on a Mac to select everything. Then Control C to copy everything. Again, you can use Command if you're on a Mac. Go into the discussion board posting and paste. You can do this by right clicking and going to paste, but the, again, the easiest way is to use your Control V key to paste everything. Your discussion board post might look like this or it might look like this. You want to show all of these options. So click on this double arrow. It's okay that this font has changed technically according to the seventh edition of APA because it looks like it's still an, an accessible font. The spacing is a little bit off though. Once you've selected the text you want to add your line spacing to, notice the very small CSS button on the bottom row of all of these tools you've just opened up. It's right here. When you click on the edit CSS style icon, a whole bunch of options pop up. For your spacing, you want to adjust the line height. Find the line height option. You need to select value from the drop down menu, and then this box pops up for double spacing. Click two. And then it's important that you also select EMS under this drop down menu. You can click on apply and view the changes. When you're done adjusting everything that you want to adjust, there might be some other things that you want to adjust here. If you want to play with your settings, then you click update and it closes that editor. One of the things that I noticed with these instructions is that um, there's still a bit of a problem with the line spacing between paragraphs because you'll notice that the line spacing here looks different than the line spacing here. If you are concerned about the extra space that's added after every paragraph, there is a way to fix it and I will show you that in another video. If that's not a concern, then I recommend taking a look to see what other formatting you might need to fix. Sometimes what happens to students is that they lose all their formatting. So I'm going to simulate that by erasing all the formatting. There's a little button up here that you can press to remove any formatting if you do find that formatting is problematic. So I'm going to select all the text and I'm going to remove all the formatting in the entire document. I'm going to go back and double space everything. I want this information centered. So I'm going to go to this button here to align center and I'm going to select information that I want bolded. I can use control B on my keyboard or I can go up to the very top left hand side and click this T. Remember to go to the reference list and italicize information using the italicize T that you can find near the top left corner of the content editor inside Blackboard. Most of the time paragraph indents and hanging indents are kept when you copy and paste information from Word into the discussion board. If it doesn't work, the easiest way to indent paragraphs is using the spacebar. On my computer, I need 12 spaces to make it equivalent to half an inch that transfers from Word. However, hanging indents are more complicated to accomplish. You can look at the video about HTML code if you are determined to format it accurately. Most institutions do not expect students to have coding skills. In fact, many websites specifically state that these tools are meant for web developers. My advice is to reach out to your teacher to see if you really need to have these elements before trying to become a web developer. Please let me know in the comments below if you're struggling with anything else inside of Blackboard. If this video was helpful, please give it a like so I know to make more of this type of video. I hope that this video has made your life easier. Please have a good rest of your day and try not to stress too much about Blackboard formatting.